Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tiffany. Today I wanted to share with you a baby boy haul. I've got a ton of stuff surrounding me here, so if you guys want to see what I got, then please keep watching. All right, as you guys can tell, I am in my baby's nursery. Um, I am giving you a little sneak peek here. I'll show you behind me. Got his name up on the wall, it's been painted, his furniture's put together, I've got most of it decorated. So today I just wanted to take the time and share with you some of the things that I got. Now if you don't know or if you're new here, I do have a six year old daughter. She actually turned six yesterday. So I already have a ton of baby products that are kind of like gender neutral as far as like baby swing, pack and plays and that kind of stuff. Um, I did get a new stroller. Uh, for baby boy and a new diaper bag and of course boy clothes and boy things so I just wanted to preface the video with that so with all that being said we can jump right in um, I am about 36 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this so if I'm out of breath that's why I am sitting on the floor Let's see if I can show you my belly here oh. I am getting pretty pretty large I've actually <laughs> I've actually had some contractions today, so I've got to really take it easy. But I did want to share with you guys everything that I got because I need to start packing my hospital bag. So let's get started. So I guess we'll start to the right here. I've got all my nursing, my bottles, my passies, all of the first aid stuff. So if you guys have never heard of Frida Baby, Frida Baby is amazing. I use them with my daughter and I did get a new set this time around. So I got this Frida Baby Medi Frida. So this has got like a passy. You can give them the medicine through the passy. It just makes it easier if you have to give medication. And then I found this Baby Basics kit. This is awesome. It's got the Nose Frida, the Windy, the Nail Frida, and the Derma Frida. So it came in this pack here. As you can see, here's all of them there. This was around $34. Um, I forgot exactly how much this is. I would give you prices, but I did get this through um, my Amazon registry and I did get a 15% off. Um, so the prices that I paid isn't necessarily gonna be the prices that you would pay, um, but I will try to link everything that I purchased from Amazon down below. All right, next up is the Oogie Bear. So this gets out all the boogers from their nose. You don't have to stick your finger in there. It's pretty, pretty cool. I love this little thing. I did not have it for my daughter and I think they just came up with it or maybe they had it before, I don't know, but I thought this was a great idea. All right, next up, I got this Boudreaux's Rash Kicking Kit. So it's got the two different uh, butt paste and a little butt uh, silicone applicator here so you don't have to stick your hands in there. I love these little sets just to start you out. They are usually a better deal. And then I also got this Mommy's Bliss. This has got all of the good stuff, the gripe water, the vitamin D drops, the gas relief, and the saline. This is so, so good, especially this gripe water. This was a lifesaver for my daughter. This stuff is amazing. All right, next up, I got another one of these diaper cream brushes. This one I'm going to put in my diaper bag because it has a little uh, travel case here. So here is the one from Dr. Brown's. Very similar to the Boudreaux's one. This one just has a case, so it's much more sanitary. All right, then you always need one of these, a baby brush and a baby comb. I lost the one I had with my daughter. You can find these everywhere and it was like two bucks on Amazon, super cheap, but good to have. All right, I did get this Cetaphil Baby. I got the eczema soothing lotion and the wash and shampoo. Um, my daughter did have really, really bad baby eczema, so I'm assuming her brother will as well. So I did get a little kit um, from Johnson & Johnson. It's like $9. I think it's already in the bathroom. Everybody knows which one I'm talking about. I'll insert a picture here, but I got that as well. But this is just to have, just in case. All right, next up are some first aid kind of things. I got some baby Tylenol. You should always have this. I waited to buy it until now just to make sure that the expiration is good. Um, you never want to need this in the middle of the night and not have it. And then I got these gas relief drops from Little Remedies. This is also a lifesaver. So I got those two. All right, and then next up, I got two little Aquaphors, these little baby ointments. This is the diaper rash cream. I do have a large one, but these are more going to be for like my diaper bag and to leave one downstairs. The big one will stay here in his nursery. These are amazing. This is even good for dry skin, eczema. Aquaphor is really, really good for babies. 
So I guess next step, I will share with you all my nursing supplies. I do plan on breastfeeding. Um, I only breastfed my daughter for a couple months. I had quite a bit of difficulties doing that um, with her. She just wouldn't latch properly. I am gonna give it a go with him again, of course. That's always best, but I will have formula on hand just in case. Therefore, that's why I got bottles and formula dispensers that you'll see later. Um, but I did get a bunch of nursing bras and like nursing pajamas that I'm going to put in my hospital bag. Um, if you guys want to see what I'm packing in my hospital bag, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely share that. I'm actually going to be packing it within the next few days. I got to get all of this washed. So if you guys want to see, let me know. All right, so first are these nursing pads. These are from Parents' Choice. These are from Walmart. There's 42 in a box. I got two to start me out. Then I found these nursing pads. They are um, reusable, so there's a ton of colors in here. I got these from Amazon. These are always good to have as well. They are organic bamboo. Love that. Now I love this brand, the, Lanc the Lancino, I think that's how you pronounce it. This brand is amazing. I got this same kit with my daughter and it was a lifesaver, especially this little suction cup thing here. This will definitely help pop it out, if you know what I'm talking about, if your nipple doesn't want to you know, if it recedes or if you have a hard time latching, this is amazing, as well as these cooling pads. These are awesome. And then it gives you a little trial size of the nipple cream. So that's great. I got that. I also got this. I don't know if I'll need it. I didn't have one for my daughter. Um, I didn't have a Haka either, but I got that. But I got the manual breast pump from Lancino. I kept going back and forth between the Medela and this one. So I went with this one. And then of course the world famous Hakka. I got one of these. Maybe I should buy another one just in case. This is always good to have while you're breastfeeding on one breast. You can put this on the other so you don't lose all of your uh, milk because your, your other breast will express milk as well while you're breastfeeding. So this will catch as much as possible to save that liquid gold as they call it. All right, last few nursing things. I got this Medela nipple shield and carrying case. So this comes with two shields. They are 20 millimeters and it has a carrying case. I also got the other nipple shields in 16 millimeters. I got two different sizes to kind of see. I don't know what's gonna work best for me. But I do plan on taking these to the hospital. This is great. This will keep your nipples from cracking and it's just, uh, it's a lifesaver because it is not pleasant when that happens when they're first learning how to latch So I think these will be great and then lastly I got this Medela Purelin Lanolin cream It is a nipple cream as well. I got two different brands just to see which one works best for me Okay, now we're gonna move on to passies. Uh, I know some people use them. Some people don't some people love them Some people hate them. I got a ton I used some with my daughter and trust me It was so hard to get rid of it when she was three Yes, she had a passy until she was almost three or past three, um, but I think it's a lifesaver. This is, you know, a necessity for me. So I've got a few different brands of pacifiers. You never know which one they're going to like. Some babies are really picky. Some people or some babies are not. We'll see. So of course, I got him the Wubba Nub. My daughter loved her Wubba Nub. I got him the little tiger. And of course, this is the Advent Soothe. Um, so I did get some of those just loose. Um, if he does like this one, I hope he does. This thing is like $17, so got that one. I also got the Advent brand. It's called the Soothe Snuggle. It is a cute little monkey, as you can see. What I like about this one is you can detach the monkey from the passy and just wash the monkey. You don't have to wash the whole thing. Um, with the pacifier attached and I can always change them out, you know, as he gets older um, You can change out the passy size because the passies are sized so zero to three months three to six six to nine blah 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 um, So I really love that. Like I said, I got a few brands of passies. So I got the advent ones, of course These are just like the ones on the Wubba Nub. These are the little bear version really cute But you'll notice the theme here. They are all kind of the same style um, I just, I think these are the best kind. I don't like the old school ones. It just kind of, I don't know. None of the babies that I know have ever liked those. So, of course, I got these itsy ritzy ones. These are so cute. Got a nice bright red and a bright blue. And then I got the Nano Baby. These are the Flexi Pacifier. These had really great reviews. Again, very, very similar to the other kind of pacifiers. So we got all those. Hopefully he likes one of them. <laughs> and then I got some things from Etsy, of course. I love Etsy, I love custom things. Um, I did order his going home outfits. 
they are not here yet actually my mom ordered them it was kind of a tradition she ordered my daughter's so she got to order his as well i also got another blanket coming that's custom with his name on it but i did get two passy clips that will clip on you know to his shirt and this will hold the binky or the passy however you want to call it so i got this one kind of wish it was black writing instead of white but it says his name on there if you can see if it wants to focus there we go Caden it's got his theme so transportation here's a little clip this is what attaches to the passy this attaches to his little onesie so he doesn't lose it and I got a plain blue one here with a little clip and I thought this one was so stinking cute it's got a little fire truck how cute is that oh my gosh so cute so I got those all right last few passy things I got this pacifier holder it's so on the go, you can attach it to your stroller, to your diaper bag, it's awesome. It holds two passies, so one in there, one in there. Keeps it clean, or if you drop it, you can stick it in here and sanitize it when you get home. I thought this was awesome. And then of course, some passy wipes. Gotta love these in case they fall on the floor. You can clean them. This will go in my diaper bag. All right, next up is feeding things. Now, I didn't go crazy with bottles. I still have a ton, and I have a few different ones. I've got the Tommy Tippies. I've got the Como, Como Tomo, Tomo Como. <laughs> I never know how to say it. I do have some Dr. Browns. I have some Advent. I have a few different kinds from my daughter, so we're kind of good on that. I did get some new ones um, with the nipple, um, excuse me, with the newborn nipple. So it's the super, super slow flow. So I got this little set, it's from Dr. Brown's. My daughter really liked Dr. Brown's, so I'm going off of that, we'll see. So this is the breast to bottle feeding kit. It's got four bottles, um, four nipple flows, a passy, and then the covers, I thought this was great. I got this from Ross, $16.99, great deal. So I got those. I also got more of these little newborn four ounce uh, bottles. I do have the eight or eight ounce ones already. That's why I got newborn. Um, I wanted to have a few different options. So got those. And then to go along with that, I got the Dr. Brown's brush. I had one of these. I lost it. So I got another one. It was only $3.99 at Ross. Now I do already have like the little grass bottle dryer. And then there's another like spinny one. It's, I think it's missing some pieces though. So I went ahead and got this little bottle rack here. And then I decided to go with this bottle warmer. I didn't have one with my daughter. I had the Tommy Tippy one that was travel. It was the travel one. You could heat it up with hot water in the thermos, then dump it in the bucket and stick the bottle in. I didn't have a bottle warmer at home, um, but I did get this one. It is from the first years. So I got that. This had really great reviews and it was a fair price. And like I said, I am gonna try to breastfeed as long as I can, but I do wanna be prepared with formula and formula related things just in case I need it. So I saw this at Ross and it's the powder formula little canisters. I've got little divided sections here. You can fill this with formula, stick it in your diaper bag. Good to go. And this was super cheap. It was $4.99 for two, so not too bad. And then last bottle related thing is this dishwasher basket. I got this from Walmart. Just stick your bottle parts in there and you can easily wash this in the dishwasher. It's good for sanitizing. So. Okay, and we're still going. <laughs> All right, next up is this summer little change way, change on the go pad. I love these. I had one with my daughter. I even still have at least part of it. It broke apart in four different pieces, um, but I got another one just in case for my diaper bag. This is great. You don't have to use those dirty changing tables when you're out and about, just use that. And from Amazon, I got these refills for my Diaper Genie. I did get a Diaper Genie with my daughter. I'm going to use that again. But the Diaper Genie branded ones are so expensive. This is a great deal, and it saves me like 8 or $9 per refill. So much better, much better deal with this. All right, next I got some waterproof changing pad liners. I do already have a changing table and two changing pads for my daughter. But I did get these. I did not have them with my daughter. I didn't need them with a boy. They kind of tend to make more of a mess, if you know what I mean. So I got these. These would be great to toss in the washer if he makes a mess. And then I got this wipes case. These are always good. You can attach it to your stroller. It's going to go on my diaper bag. This had really great reviews. They didn't dry out. It seals pretty well. So I got that from Walmart. All right, next I got these Munchkin refills. I did have this with my daughter already. It's got the little diaper bags in there to use on the go. I got the refill pack for that. All right, next is the Swaddle Me. Now, 
I got two of these. I only got two for now. I do have a ton left over from my daughter, a ton. They are hot pink and, you know, purple, but I really don't care that much if it's a bright girly color. They do the job. These are very expensive. This was like $30 for a pack of two. Um, and I hear they're really great. I didn't use the Swaddle Me brand with my daughter, um, but I'm willing to give it a go. My daughter was like Houdini. She always got out of her swaddle, but she would always wake herself up if her arms went up in the middle of the night when she was a newborn. Um, so I'm hoping this will help and maybe he won't like being swaddled. We'll see. That's why I only got one um, in case he doesn't. Yeah, I'd hate to spend all that money on swaddles and him not like it. So, so I did get this one. It's got the cute little lion pattern and the gray and white stripes. So cute. And it's just Velcro. You stick a man, you Velcro it nice and tight. Got that. Oh yes, here we go. I forgot these, these play yard sheets. These are great. I've got a few of these around my house. A few pack and plays, I should say. I still have sheets as well, but I got some boyish colors. So got the gray and the gray with the waves from Walmart, it was like five bucks, super cheap. All right, next I got the Boba Wrap. Now I already have one of the old school carriers, I think it's from Evenflow, that we used with my daughter and she didn't really like it that much. Um, she, we used it when she was a newborn, but that was about it. We'll see if he likes to be carried, but I heard this was really, really great, really easy to use. I watched so many videos on how to put it on, so I think I've got it figured out. Um, I did go with the black version. Um, they had different colors and patterns, but black seems to go with everything, so we'll see how he likes it. Um, like, the, like I said earlier, I already have a ton of baby stuff, so that other carrier is downstairs. So now we at least we have two. So if he doesn't like one, maybe he'll like the other. All right, and then from Amazon, I got this for postpartum recovery. It is a girdle. I'm not gonna like try to put it on for you guys, but basically just wrap it around, try to keep everything nice and compressed and get that uterus to go back down. Um, this will also help with uh, helping you lose weight if you're breastfeeding, especially um, with the contractions at the end. If you've ever had a baby, you know what I'm talking about. While you're breastfeeding, you can have some seriously painful contractions, but they really do help, you know, get that uterus shrunk back down really, really fast. And this always helps. So I got another one of these. I do have a beige one from my daughter somewhere, um, but this will be going to the hospital. All right, next up, I got this big, big container of all free and clear. Now I used to use Dreft with my daughter, but it's so pricey and I hear this is just as good. Um, you basically just don't want any chemicals, any strong smells, and this does the job. So I hope, I hope it works. It's number one recommended by dermatologists and pediatricians. So got to start washing in a couple days anyway. So I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, this was one of my number one things that I wanted. I actually have it plugged in over there, but it is the Hatch. I got this from Amazon. With my discount, I think I paid around $50 for it. So it is a very, very pricey sound machine, but it's also a nightlight. There's a time to rise function. You can use it as the kids get older. This thing is amazing. I wish they had it when my daughter was born but I'm so excited to use this. All right, and next up is my diaper bag. Now I got the most generic one you could find. It was like the number one uh, diaper bag on Amazon. It popped up right away, had a ton of reviews. It was about $45, um, but it's super great. It's a typical diaper bag. It's got a changing pad inside you can use um, for diaper changes. It's got compartments. It's got insulated pockets for diapers here, or sorry, <laughs> Insulated pockets for diapers. Oh, pregnancy brain is real. Insulated pockets for bottles. So that's perfect. There's a little section in here for mommy and her wallet, but it is a backpack. I did want a backpack this time. I had a regular old school diaper bag with my daughter and hated it. It's such a pain to carry around. So I'm really excited to use this. Okay, now this next item, I went back and forth, back and forth with my husband. I couldn't decide if I wanted the Docatot, or if I wanted something comparable like this, um, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't bite the bullet. It was $150 for a brand new Docatot, plain one, simple, nothing crazy, and I just couldn't justify the price. If I was having more kids, of course, you know, maybe I should have got one <laughs> with my daughter. Then it would have been worth it for two children. Um, but we're done after this. This is our last baby, so I didn't want to spend too much money. Now this one is from Amazon. It was still around $60 plus my discount. I think I got it for like 52 or something. Um, so kind of pricey, but 
again, totally worth it. So this is a baby lounger. I plan on using this um, for his napping, like during the day, if he's gonna nap on the couch next to me, um, that kind of stuff. It's just easier and more safe than putting him to nap, like laying on the couch. Um, and I don't have like a little bassinet. I had one with my daughter, but again, not trying to buy too much. We're not having any more kids, so making do with what we have. Um, I don't plan on putting this in his crib or in his bassinet. Um, it's not very safe. Some people do, and that's completely up to them, but that's not why I'm buying it. I'm buying it more for the daytime naps. If he's sleeping next to me, so he's nice and cozy. So I got the blue and white star version. Now the case does come off. It's washable. I already washed it, and it's super soft but firm at the same time. So I highly recommend this one so far. I'll let you know if it's great or not, um, but yes got this little little lounger okay last few things I've got some clothes I'm not gonna share a ton of clothes I think they're all the same I mainly got onesies and zip up pajamas and that's it for now um, boys clothes aren't as fun as girls little tutus and dresses I will share the clothes with you guys after but first did want to share with you these little baby towels with the little hoods I've got a pack of three and then a pack of eight washcloths now I did make the mistake of with my daughter of buying too many of these. I had like a hundred washcloths. I don't know why I thought I needed a hundred washcloths. So I still have a ton left over and they're white and yellow so <laughs> I can use them for him too. Same with the hoodie little towels. I got these three and then we'll use the same ones that I used with my daughter. I don't see the sense in buying a ton of those when I already have some. And then next I got this really really cute car seat cover. It's got little dinosaurs on it. So I got this. It is like a muslin material, so it's super breathable. It'll be perfect for Las Vegas heat. Now what's funny is I was going to go with a uh, dinosaur themed nursery, but I changed my mind halfway through. I was like, you know what? Let's do transportation. I saw some stuff on Pinterest and it was just so cute and very, very boyish with the primary colors, you know, red, blue, green, yellow everywhere and the trucks and the dump trucks. I just thought it was so cute. So I'm super happy with his nursery. I will definitely have to film that for you guys. It's pretty much done. My husband just has to do some paint touch-ups here and there. We had to fill some holes because this room was my daughter's school room during the uh, pandemic. So um, had to definitely clean it up a little bit, but I really love how this one turned out. The dinosaur one would have been super cute too, but I'm glad we did this theme instead. All right, like I mentioned, I did get some custom made stuff from Etsy. This is another one of those things. So I got this beautiful, beautiful like slate blue uh, custom name blanket. So as you can see, my, my boy's name here, Caden, and his middle name will be Axiel. So Caden Axiel. Um, so I thought that was really, really cute. Super soft. I think this was only like $26 with shipping. It was a great, great deal. It's not huge, but this will be perfect for his car seat. Um, so we can have a nice, a, a nice light blanket to take with us. All right, now I've got a few baby blankets. I didn't go crazy. Like I said, I have some from my daughter. I don't mind using them if they're yellow or purple. If we're using them at home, it's completely fine, but I'll take these just in case we go out. <laughs> Going out is different with pink blankets and a boy than staying home. So I got this cute little Mickey Mouse blanket from Ross. It was $5.99. Super lightweight, but very, very soft. This will be great. Got this blanket also from Ross for $4.99. Such good deals. It's got little dinosaurs on it. Navy and yellow. Really, really cute. And then lastly, this little fire truck and airplane and cars. This one was $4.99 as well from Ross. Really cute. I have to wash all of this stuff still, guys. <laughs> oh, man. So much laundry to do. <laughs> and I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did get some burp cloths. They are the muslin kind of material. I got this pack from Amazon. It's got four different patterns. There's like dinosaurs, snails, ice cream cones elephants, deer, woodland, like a whole bunch of different kinds. So I got those, those are great to have. And then lastly, for like the blanket kind of trend, I got these um, baby blankets. Some people call them uh, receiving blankets. So I got this one, it's got little cars and trucks on it. How cute is this? Again, matches his room. Another transportation kind of themed one. This came in a pack, I already took it off. 
Got these. This one was $6.99 from Ross. Again, the transportation theme. Construction trucks. Oh, how cute. Love that. And then this one, same brand from Ross as well, $6.99, except the dinosaurs. Love the dinosaurs, really cute. Okay, now the last few items are some clothes. Like I said, I did get some custom um, going home outfits from Etsy and they have not arrived yet. They take like two to three weeks. Hopefully they'll be here within the next week. Um, but I will in insert a picture here of the ones that I got. Of course, it's gonna have his name on it. I'll just show you the website and you know how they advertised it. So first I got these little baby mittens. I got a few packs of these in different patterns. We've got these ones here, how adorable. And I've got these. These are great when they're newborn because their nails can be super sharp. You don't want them to scratch their little faces. I got this set from Carter's. Came with three, this one came off. Of course, it's so cute with the little dinosaurs and the navy colors. This is great when they're newborns. This hat set and mitten set, super cute. This one I got from Burlington, it was $5.99. And then I got him a few packs of socks. I have more stuff, but I'm only showing you guys some of it. Like I said, clothing is very, very generic at this age. I am only buying up until like three to six months. The, the lesson I learned with my daughter is I'm not gonna go crazy on clothes. I'm gonna buy what I need and buy as I go. So once I see where he is and how big he is, um, we'll go from there. He is measuring like <laughs> six days ahead, so he's a little bit bigger. So I really don't know how long he's going to be in newborn clothes, let alone zero to three months. So like I said, I didn't get too much clothes. I learned my lesson. I just don't want to waste money. But I did get him a ton of socks. These will last a while. Got these little Carter socks. They have a little grip on the bottom, which is great. And then these cute little ones. These are adorable. It says zero to 12 months, but these look so tiny. These are like three to six or six months max, I would say. And then we got him these. Of course, you can't go wrong with Mickey Mouse. So I only got like four pairs of baby shoes. Again, babies don't wear shoes. They just kick them off and they can't even walk, obviously, but their feet get like crunched up and they like curl their toes. So they don't even stay on, but these were adorable. I had to get them. So these are the little Mickey Mouse little slippers. They're nice and fuzzy. So cute. Very, very cute. And then these little Mickey shoes. These are sweet. I guess they call these crib shoes because you can't really walk in them. <laughs> They're just more for show. All right, and then some little onesie packs. I thought these were adorable. This little one from Target. The cute patterns, the lion, safari theme, super adorable. And this one, of course, dinosaur, love dinosaur, the stripes, and another little roar. This one says roar. So this is all baby's going to live in, honestly, for the first six months of their life. Um, I learned my lesson, like I said, I'm not going to buy fancy clothes and a little suit and a little button up. It's not practical. He's not going to wear them. It's just not going to happen. So what I did get, and what I advise anybody who's having a baby to get, is a ton of these zipper, not button, I do have some button, but zipper pajamas. So I got these from Walmart, super cheap, $5.44 a piece. I went crazy, I got a ton. So I'm only showing you guys some of my favorites. Of course, got a little cat hair on there. <laughs> of course, this little camo is so, so precious. And they've got these little mitten covers so you can cover their hands right here. Um, so cute. So we've got a camo one, shark one, my favorite, fire truck, little construction truck and dump trucks, of course, to match his theme. We've got some dinosaurs. Love this one. And of course, more dinosaurs. Dinosaurs and construction trucks. Transportation theme is what I mainly got for him because I think it's super boyish, but yes, your baby will be living in these. There's no point in buying all those fancy clothes. Trust me, I learned the hard way and I'm excited to start washing these and I gotta get going on that hospital bag now that I got all this film for you guys. There's still so much to do. Okay, last bucket of things is toys. Now I have a ton of toys already, a ton, a ton. Um, in my previous life, I should say, pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, um, <laughs> I was a nanny, a babysitter, if you will. Uh, I ran a daycare from home, so I have a ton of kids' toys, rockers, bouncers, 
play yards, everything, gates, you name it, I got it, toys, but I did get him some new things, of course. I didn't want to make him use all hand-me-downs, so I got him a cute little rattle, got this from Ross, can't beat that, $2.99, you know, it's a good deal. Ross always has good baby stuff, very, very cheap. And I got this Bright Stars Play Pals. This will go on like his stroller or in his car seat. It's a great sensory kind of toy. So that was cute. Another thing for his car seat, it's called a Travel Pal. This will like wrap around the little handle here. So I got that, nice and bright. These are always fun, all these little rattles. This is from Ross as well, $3.99. All of this stuff was from Ross, $5.99. $6.99, super cheap, but these are always fun to put on their wrists so they can kind of shake and hear noises. Again, for his car seat, I got plenty of options here. This one was $7.99 from Ross. This one's for when he's a little bit older to go across his car seat. Can't really see because the sticker's blocking it, but it goes from one side to the other. Got that. Of course, a little teething ring. I didn't buy any feeding things, any teething things, not yet. I will wait a little bit longer and buy as I go. Again, I don't want to buy too much. I have a ton already. Oh, this little thing. I forgot I got this. My daughter loved this Baby Einstein little music maker. She loved it so much that she broke it. I replaced the batteries like six times and it eventually just stopped playing music. So I bought another one for Kaden. It is $5.99. How cute. It's so sweet. My daughter loved this so much. I think he will too. Okay, then I got this little Mickey Mouse little dodo. I don't know what else to call it. It'll go in his car seat. It's just a cute little toy and it's super soft, easy to wash. Got that. And then while my husband was in France, he got the baby a few French toys. We do have some French toys already, obviously French books, all that stuff. Um, but he did want to get the new baby a few things. So I got this little guy. Now it is from VTech. Um, they do have basically the same brands over there, but this stuff is all in French, so he can start learning French at a really young age. I got this little driving steering wheel. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Love that. So, got two little baby toys. And the last thing I was going to show you, which it's over here, it's going to be really hard for me to actually get it out and show you, but I will insert a picture of the stroller um, and bassinet combo that I got. We did go with the Evenflow. I forgot the exact brand, but I will put it right here for you guys. I did so much research and this one was such a great deal. It had the nice bassinet attachment, just like uh, the fancy expensive ones. Uh, again, I did not want to spend a ton of money. This is my last baby, so I didn't want to go and splurge on a stroller that I'm going to use, and then that's it. Again, if I was having more kids, I'd get something more expensive, but this one had great reviews. I'm excited. It looks really nice, so I will definitely insert it here. All right, guys, that's a wrap. That's everything I got. My back is killing me. I've been sitting on this floor for like an hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Of course, I got a ton of diapers and a ton of wipes. And of course, the little toy is going off as I'm talking. That's always how it goes. But anyway, I, I got a ton of those, ton of wipes, ton of diapers. I didn't want to share that. That's not the fun stuff. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see what I pack in my hospital bag, let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely share that with you guys. I am going to get started on washing today, probably. Honestly, I'd like to get my diaper bag and my hospital bag packed and ready to go. Like I said, I'm about 36 weeks pregnant, so he could come at any point. I'd be surprised if I make it to 39. I am going to be having a scheduled C-section because of uh, previous complications with my last pregnancy, so I don't really have a choice. Um, but I'd be surprised if he makes it all the way to then, so I want to be prepared. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!